If you are preparing for the C programming interviews as a software developer, then this is the one of the most common question asked for a C programming interview. In this video, you are going to learn about how to write a C program to swap two numbers. There are multiple methods. We are going to see each and every method one by one. The first video is dedicated to swap a two number using three variable. So let's consider we have the three variables a, b and temp. Now we want to swap the number between a and b. So here we can see that we have a is equal to 10, b is equal to 20. Now how we can swap these numbers? So let's talk about the logic and then I will show you the C program. So this logic is really simple. Let's consider that we have a equal to 10, b equal to 20 and the temp is another box. So the step one will be like we will move this a to the temp. So how we can write in a program, we will say temp equal to a. So step two will be, we will now move the whatever value in the b to the a because a we have already moved to the temp. So temp has a backup. Now we want to move this b to the a. So how we can write a equal to b. And the third step, b, whatever be the value of b that is already at position a. Now what we want is a value of a at b so that we can move using moving a temp to the b so we need to write a b equal to 10 so if you visualize this it will look like a circle like a to temp then b to a and then the temp to b so this is the very simple logic like you have to move these things into the circular manner and you will get the variable swap now let's see the program in detail so now we are going to discuss about the C program to swap two variables. Let's consider variable A equal to 10, then B equal to 20 and another variable temp equal to 0. Now as we have discussed into the logic, what we need to do is we need to consider temp equal to a so the whatever will be the value of a it will be stored into the temp so temp will be now equal to 10 now what we can do we can update the a we have a backup of a into the temp so we will say a equal to b now b value is stored into the a now we can move the temp value which is already a a to the b so in this way the value will be get swept now we can use a printf statement to print the value of a so a equal to let's say person d comma a the value of a and here also we can similarly write for b so we will say b equal to the value of b okay this is a simple program. Let's run this. Okay, before this, I think I need to use a slash n over here so that it will start from the next line. Let's run the program. So here you can see that after swap, we have a equal to 20 and b equal to 10. Now, if someone asks you to swap this value using a function, then how we can do this? Remember that in a function, we have to pass by a reference, not by the value. So let's do this. Let's swap this a and b using a function. So I will remove these things. So we have a and b, right? And now we want to write one function. We can write it over here. Void, let's say swap method one. So here we need to pass two variables. Let's say int pointer a and int pointer b why we are taking a pointer over here because we want to pass the address of the variable and that at that particular address we want to swap the value now we will take a temp variable let's initialize with zero and here you can say that temp equal to whatever will be the value of a at that particular address and then we want to say that the a will be equal to b 
and then the whatever will be the value of b will be equal to the temp so in this way we can re replace by the reference also so now we can call this function the swap method one and remember that as we are using a pointer over here in the argument we have to pass the address of a and b not the value so address of a and the address of b so after this okay let's run this program and see what is what we are getting the value of a and b so you can see that the a equal to 20 and b equal to 10 we can try some other value also let's say 44 and 55 so after this result we are expecting that the a should be equal to 55 b should be equal to 44 let's run it so here it is so this is the very simple method by using a three variable you can swap the two numbers in the next video we are going to discuss about another method to swap two numbers thank you so much for watching this video